Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be doing a full review of the new vehicle that was just released in Grand Theft Auto Online, the Vapid Hustler, as well as telling you guys about 15 things you might not know about this vehicle, which there's some pretty cool tips and tricks you might find uh, in this guide. Now, before we get started, I just want to announce that I am going to be doing a shark card giveaway for this vehicle and the rest of the Valentine's Day 2018 update content. So I'm gonna be doing a $3.5 million shark card giveaway. I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's happening on my Twitter, and I'll actually be announcing the winner on Friday. But anyways, let's jump into the Vapid Hustler now. It is actually available on the Legendary Motorsports site for $625,000. It's a two-seater muscle car, and it's really cool right off the bat, in my opinion. There's the description if you are interested, if you want to pause the video and take a read at it, and there are the stats as well for the vehicle. Not sure if that matters at all, but uh, this is a pretty awesome vehicle. I am very excited to get into this, so let's buy one right now, and let's jump into the customization. Okay, so the vehicle has just been delivered. This is what it is right here. We're going to take a look at the engine noise in a second. In case you're wondering what this car is based off of in real life, it's based off of a 1932 Ford Coupe, uh, which is a really awesome classic car. So very excited about this. However, one thing I was really looking forward to is the engine sound of this bad boy. So let's take a listen to that right now. Okay, so that is awesome. And this vehicle sounds even better when idling, which is really cool. So let's actually jump into modifying this car and get into some more pretty cool tips and tricks regarding this vehicle. All right, the first thing we can do to this vehicle is apply different bumpers, front and rear. So for the front and the rear, there's a stock option, a remove option, and a rusty option, which you're gonna see will actually come in handy for a lot of the liveries later. You can see it's, it's the exact same thing for the rear bumper option right there. The only thing I don't like is the license plate doesn't have like a rusty finish to it uh, when you do the rusty bumper. Like you have this pristine looking license plate, but this really rusty finish. To me, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's a ton of exhaust options on this vehicle. Stock is dual pipes at the back. Short upswept brings it to the front and the engine block right there, which looks really cool. You have low upswept pipes, uh, which is similar. Stinger exhaust, which is two long pipes on the side of the engine block. And then side exit kind of brings it along the side near the door sill, which looks really, really cool in my opinion. And you'll actually notice that the side exit exhaust removes the fenders as well. Now we'll actually touch on how you can keep the side panel on the engine and remove this a little bit later. That's actually a trick I'll show you. But if you do the side exit exhaust, it will remove those fenders from the vehicle. Uh, after that, we have grill options. Again, they really give you some nice rusty variants if you wanted to create that rusty grill, salty grill. You can completely remove the grill and delete the nose too. You can do chrome mesh grill and black mesh. I think black mesh is one of my favorites, so I think we're gonna go with that. A lot of options for the hood too. You can completely remove it, add a triple intake and a single intake bug catcher, as well as high rise ram pipes. And these are the liveries. Now, I am gonna be disappointed if there's not a ZZ Top Eliminator livery because that would actually be perfect for this car. But the first one is basic pinstripe, which doesn't do a lot to this vehicle. Again, a simple pinstripe design on the back and kind of near the window front. You have yellow flames, which is what we've seen on the Albany Hermes and other low riders. That looks quite nice. Purple flames, again, looks really cool. Uh, if you were sort of go for like a Valentine's Day, Halloween-esque look. Uh, Vapid Rapid, which has a bunch of different uh, sponsorships on there, as well as the Vapid Rapid quote. And it kind of gives you this cream uh, kind of dual stripe that goes down the back uh, and a little bit on the front too. Hustle Time is very similar. It's the exact same sort of pattern with different liveries. And instead of a cream, it's more of a white finish. Looks kind of neat. Uh, just Some Patina is our first sort of rusty, dirty livery one. That's where the rusty grill and the rusty bumpers would come in handy with something like this. Same with Barn Fine, which is another rusty, uh, sort of decayed, almost chipped paint job look. Kind of nice. This one's one of my favorite. It's Custom Racer. It has LS Customs 32 Speed Shop on the side. It gives you a little bit of rustiness, but not all of it, which I do kind of like. So that's one of my favorites. You have Rusty Dragger, which gives you CA 537. Again, another rusty design. And the final one is Salty Rod, which has 72 on the side and then is a livery that looks like this vehicle has been completely covered in salt, uh, which is kind of unique. 
After that, we have an option for a sunshade, which is kind of a cool design. Uh, it doesn't do anything to the car. It doesn't act like a spoiler or anything like that. We have a couple skirt options. You can see here, you can remove the side panels. You can remove the panels and the fenders. However, what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys how you can remove the fenders, but actually keep the side panels. So what you wanna do is click on remove panels and fenders, and then on your D-pad, you wanna flick up and down until you're actually able to get it to land on stock skirt, just like I did, and you can see the fenders have been removed, but the side panels are still there, which kind of gives you a unique, interesting look to this vehicle if you want. Now, I'm not gonna do that for mine, but it's a great way to keep the side panels on this vehicle while removing the fenders. Uh, you can do something very similar to the Vapid Hot Knife, and when I was customizing this earlier, I thought to myself, surely I'll be able to do the exact same thing here, and that's exactly the case. Now, the stock wheels here are not anything unique. These are simply the classic five uh, muscle rims, so if you wanted to change the color on them, that's all you have to do. No need to mess with the iFruit app or anything like that. And this is my final design right here. We went with that LS Customs livery. I went with the black hot rod rims, hot rod on the license plate. There's no way to change the interior, which you guys can see right here. The interior is beautiful though. It's one of the best designs interior in the game. Many of the muscle cars and sports classic cars have an amazing design like this. And the Vapid Hustler is absolutely no exception. It has a beautiful interior. All right, something pretty interesting you might not know about the Vapid Hustler is when you open up all of the doors, the trunk in particular, there's actually a really cool feature of this vehicle. So you see here how the trunk almost looks like an extra seat. Well, that's because that was a design element of this 1932 Ford back when it was actually being produced. So there's only two seats on the inside. However, if you wanted to carry extra passengers, you would simply put them in the trunk. And it has a little back and a little footrest. Now, it's not very big, and our Grand Theft Auto Online players cannot sit in here. But this is a cool little design feature from Rockstar, the fact that the trunk sort of functions as an extra seat. Now, what would have been really neat is if Rockstar had designed this vehicle to seat three people and you could have had one extra person in the back. That would have been so cool. Now, another thing I like about this vehicle is when it's idling, the engine sort of rumbles. Now, because I don't have like a triple intake bug catcher or anything like that on, it is a little bit hard to see in mine, but you can really hear it. It's like grumbling and rumbling when you're sitting still, which actually sounds quite nice. All right, so now let's talk about the performance of this vehicle, the Vapid Hustler. And unfortunately, this is not a vehicle that you're gonna be using in muscle races, at least if you want to end up doing well. So according to the information that's been gathered by Bruffy, I'll leave a link to his testing video in the description, the Vapid Hustler only places 20th out of all the muscle cars. Now we do have a lot of muscle cars, but 20 is not all that great, especially when you consider like the three big ones that we have, which is like the Pizvazor Dominator and the newly added Yosemite. It really can't compete with any vehicle that has a spoiler and can brake better, has better traction. And that's the downfall of the Vapid Hustler. It's not its top speed, which we'll touch on in a second. The top speed of this vehicle actually puts it into third place out of all the muscle cars. This thing just really lacks acceleration. It really lacks good braking and it's it's not great around corners and doesn't have amazing traction. And that's the downfall of the, the Vapid Hustler. It is really quick in a straight line, but that really limits you as far as how you can use this successfully in races. Like the only time this would be really all that great is in a drag race and you're never gonna be drag racing muscle cars. There's not many races that take you in a straight line from point A to point B. So needless to say, this is not a great vehicle for racing. Uh, and honestly, I didn't expect you guys to buy this for racing either. So the performance of this vehicle not being great really shouldn't have been a shock. I mean, it doesn't come with a spoiler, the, the type of vehicle it's based on. You wouldn't suspect that Rockstar would make it perform all that great. But at the end of the day, this doesn't bother me all that much. For a couple reasons, muscle car races aren't exactly the most popular thing, and I, I wouldn't even buy this vehicle for races. It's so beautiful, it's so awesome, that it doesn't really need to excel in performance for me to still really ultimately enjoy this vehicle all that much. All right, so let me give you guys my final review on this vehicle now, now that we've been over everything, buying the vehicle, customizing it, uh, figuring out its performance. This vehicle, to me, is incredible. I am a huge fan of it, so let's go over it right now. Price is definitely an A. 
it's only $625,000. As far as 2018 vehicle pricing standard goes, that's not bad at all. So $625,000, that is really great. Customization, I'm gonna give an A plus as well. The amount of things you can do, all the liveries. The only thing I'm disappointed about, and this isn't a huge gripe to me, there's not a ZZ Top livery. I mean, wouldn't that have been perfect if Rockstar had done something like that? So I feel like they missed the ball. I'm not having a ZZ Top Eliminator livery. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, you might wanna look that up. And then performance of this car, I can't really fault the performance all that much. It's really fast, uh, but unfortunately that doesn't translate all that well into anything really other than a drag race and maybe some long races with giant straightaways. So unfortunately the performance of this car is not all that amazing, but let's be honest. If you're buying this vehicle, you're buying it for either its looks, its customization, or you really love the design of the vehicle because let's be honest, Who's doing muscle races anyways? It's a real small portion of the online population. And even when there's required muscle races, like the premium races, they don't occur all that often. So I'm still gonna say that this vehicle is a must buy. It's absolutely amazing. I think it's become my favorite muscle car of all time. Even though it doesn't have a spoiler and even though it doesn't have the ability to win really all those races all that well, it's still, in my opinion, an absolutely incredible car and an amazing vehicle that has definitely earned a spot to stay in my garage. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm gonna be talking about for you guys in this video today. That right there is my review of the Vapid Hustler and about 15 things you need to know about this vehicle before you end up buying. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this new muscle car, the Vapid Hustler? Are you gonna be buying it? Are you gonna be staying away from it? I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Quick reminder, I am doing a shark card giveaway for this vehicle and the rest of the Valentine's Day content. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description. But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. If you did go on to enjoy the video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.